I'm Kevin, W8NI, and I'm back with another video. Hey everyone, I finally completed the Delta Loop. It is done, and here is the video for it. Uh, and after you all hear what struggles I went through and all the different information I got, uh, you will understand just how confusing this, ha this journey has been. So first of all, let me say, I am going to name names in here. I'm gonna tell you where I got my information. Uh, I'll tell you, uh, most of it was good information, but I am going to allow you to make that determination as you move through it. So I did a ton of work on this so that you won't have to. But at the same time, this is all about experimentation. So maybe you should do some of the work yourself as well. All right, let me give you a little bit of a backstory and we will then move forward. So first of all, a member of our ham radio club was dissatisfied with his current antenna. And so I had been wanting to build a Delta Loop. And so I offered to build him a 40 to 10 meter Delta Loop, did some research and began building a four to one Balin, just like Callum and DX Commander Guy and his friend Mike built. And I will put that video in the link below. You can watch it. It's good entertainment. And when I got it done and the wire put on and trimmed up, I have to say I was very impressed with the Delta Loop. Very impressed. It was usable on 40 and 20 and 18 and 15 and 10. I was shocked at how usable this Delta Loop was. So much so that I decided I needed to build myself an 80 to 10 meter Delta Loop. After all, I had the room, so why not? So as I was starting to put this together, I thought this would make a great video. And so I went back and looked at the the picture that uh, Callum and Mike used, found that on the internet and pulled it up on a web page that I will again link in the description below that said one design to possibly avoid. And I was shocked. I mean, this, this works so well, but now this website is saying that you want to avoid this type of wrap for a four to one balance. Well, what do I do? So I decided to wrap my four to one balance the way this article said to wrap it. But then I thought, I'm experimenting. Why not wrap both ways? And I found some other information that said using a 53 mix instead of a 42 mix might do better as well. So I wrapped a 53 mix and a 42 mix just to see which one, which one would work. Three balance in all, 42 mix, a 53 mix, and then a 42 mix wrapped the way that Callum and Mike wrapped theirs. So once I got these all built, uh, got the wire put on it, got it up in the air, cut a ton of wire off, I finally got the dips where I want them. Now for me, this was about replacing an 80 meter antenna. My NFED half wave I did have for 80 meters. It was usable on more than 80 meters, but I also had a ZS6 BKW antenna that, that got me on most bands already. I really was looking for an 80 meter antenna. And so I built this Delta Loop to satisfy that 80 meter band. So like I said, 42 mix, four to one ballon, trim the antenna, got it set where I wanted it. And let me show you the SWR readings that I got from this antenna. And now again, I was really impressed. 80 meters was pretty good until you got up to the top of the band. Uh, honestly, honestly, this wasn't as good as my 80 meter NFED half wave, but, but, I picked up several other bands. Now, let me say, I do not own a tuner. So as you notice, uh, this Delta Loop and the 43 mix, uh, I could use all of 80. I picked up 30 meters, which I never had before. I got 15 meters, which neither my ZS6 or my NFED was able to get. Uh, again, I was super impressed with this 
antenna with this delta loop. So now what? Uh, now I decided to put that 53 mix on, see what that did, how that worked. And I must say I was not nearly as impressed. It was not spectacular. Uh, as you can see, the dip on the 80 meters didn't dip enough. And as I was looking at the data, you will notice that the dip for the 40 meters, uh, I put that at the bottom, the, the 40 meter band actually had a dip back at 5.875 megahertz. So my question that I had is if I trim more wire off, would the 53 mix become usable on all the bands? And to be honest, I don't know. I wasn't willing to cut off the wire and find out because if it didn't work, then I would be stuck replacing all 280-ish feet of wire to get it back on the 42 mix. So let me suggest this. If you need a 40 meter delta loop, cut one for 80, test it with the 53, and if it doesn't work, you can switch to the 42 uh, mix trim it down to 40 meters and you'll be good to go. So there you go. Let me know if you tried it in the comments below. I would be curious to know the answer to that one. So then what? Well, I pulled out that other four to one ballon, the one that uh, was wrapped the way Mike and Callum did it, uh, put that in. And, and honestly, the numbers I got back were exactly the same, plus or minus one or two thousandths of a difference in the SWR reading. And honestly, that difference could just be my Nano VNA's reading of it. Uh, really wasn't anything notable. And so for all practical purposes, there was no difference between the two. So what have I learned from this? Well, if someone asked me about a Delta Loop, I would say, first of all, build it. These antennas are great for multi-band if you have the space. As for usability, mine is even usable on six meters and it's actually usable on two meters. Not that I would ever use that, but horizontally polarized two meters. Uh, so build it, build a Delta Loop if you've got the room. I would absolutely also recommend using the 42 mix toroid although if you want to experiment go for it if you want to try a type 2 core i've seen those used uh, i would love to see your swr readings for that and if you do please let me know in the comments below again i would love to know your your outcomes for the antenna built with a 40 with a type 2 mix if you've done that, please put the comments below. Uh, if you have any questions about my build, please put those below. Or you can even send me an email. I'm good on QRZ. So that's it. Uh, I will let you guys go. Thanks for watching the video. Greatly appreciate it. And I will see you next time. I'm Kevin, W8NI73, everybody.